Still in the news, residents and some students on Monday protested the deplorable state of the Lagos Badagria Expressway, describing it as a road of anguish and pain. Residents blocked the popular Badagri roundabout for hours. They stormed the area carrying placards with various inscriptions, such as Fix Lagos Badagri Expressway. Our businesses are dying. Bad road. Our pregnant women are having miscarriages. And we're not at war. Remove checkpoints on our roads, amongst others. And joining us live is Sewanu Michael, an activist uh, who was live on ground um, on the Badagri Expressway. Thanks for joining us. Uh, a great protesters are here, and they are just trying to express their grievance uh, and the disappointment with government who have failed to maintain but the Badagri Express Road until it depleted to a point that the motor got to a point that it, the road got to a point that is fit and fit. Have you been able to speak with some of the protesters over there? Before now, there have been series of protests. Uh, we did one sometime last year. Uh, on October 1st, there was another protest, and some of our comrades were arrested. Uh, we just want to key into the current anti protest that is going on around the country in also expressing our grievances to the government and letting the whole world know what is really happening with Lagos Badagri Express Road, which is the first expressway in Nigeria. Okay, quickly, can I also talk about the traffic situation on the road uh, as it stands. How bad is it, and uh, what are the motorists they having to deal with? The road is not existing. You only, you only talk that the road is bad when it is existing. Lagos Badagi Road is not existing anymore. Yeah, I, I mean, it is bad. I mean, the, motorist. I mean motorists and travelers and other road users. I didn't get that. I'm asking about motorists, uh, the travelers, the road users who are on the road this morning. What are they having to deal with? Uh, luckily to us today, various road users have joined us, staff workers have joined us because the 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 hardship of this road falls back on them. Because I had an encounter with a, with a transporter some times ago who tells me that every week he spends about 10,000 euros running check up and fixing parts of his bus. These are people that run uh, from Maitu to Badagri and about. All right. Um, Michael, I want to thank you so much for bringing us up to speed with what's going on over there. Um, remember to stay safe and we'll, of course, reconnect with you again. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.